Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Remember to follow me on the Facebook community page. Nitro Kyosho, all one word brings you there. Well, it's winter here, guys, in New England. We're not doing any flying, obviously. A little here and there if you get a warm day in the 40s. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I decided, I've been debating on this, uh, doing the conversion uh, to the 380 uh, to the 420. Now, as you guys know, I love 450 size helicopters. For the guys that don't know me out there, I do have 700s and 500s and 570s and all the big ones too. So, uh, guys always say, why don't you buy a big one? Well, if you guys know me, you already know I have the bigger helicopters and you've seen them on my channel being flown. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let me talk a little bit about this. I'm not going to drag the video out. Get right to the point uh, so this is there is no conversion kit sold at this time you have to buy the parts individually okay everything is virtually the same it's a 380 the frames are the same the heads the same everything is the same guys the things I'm going to tell you is what you need to do all right uh, you get the 420 blades from Saab their new uh, I think they're called Thunderbolt uh, you've got to get the boom. Uh, now they have the list, and obviously of the, the 420 and the 380 the different parts. You need the boom. Obviously, you need the rudder rod, uh, which I have here. I didn't build yet. Uh, you need the belt. Obviously, uh, you do need to change the front pulley uh, for the tail belt. Uh, and. What else? Push rod, uh, the belt. Uh, the canopies are the same, guys, so you don't have to invest in the canopy if you don't want. The canopy is not any bigger, it's not any shape different, it's just a different paint scheme. So if you don't mind uh, using your old canopy with this newer style boom, it's no big deal. I figured, what the heck, I, got a, I wanted a spare canopy anyways, so uh, do the conversion with, with the canopy also. It'll cost you a little under $200, guys, if you, if you want to do the conversion. Uh, actually, it'll be a, it's a little cheaper than that. It's probably around $160, something like that, $170. Depending, if you don't want the canopy, you save yourself $46. Bucks, so now it, it really drops the price down. But it is well under $200. That was an overstatement. Sorry. Uh, the tail blades are the same. Uh, the whole, it's the same helicopter, guys, with just a few different parts on it, okay? Uh, but those are the main parts that you have to change. The, the, like I said, the blades fit into these blade grips. Every, everything was designed. It's a 380 frame. It's a 380 build. It's just a little bit, you know, stretched a little bit. Uh, but they're claiming that it makes it a lot more floaty, uh, and it settles it down a little bit. The 380 could be erratic at times. And uh, so I think this is going to make it a nice flyer. I've actually been debating guys of getting rid of maybe the 500 in the 570 if this flies nice and being a guy that just keeps a size like this and uh, 700. Okay, there's really no need to have all those in between models. That's something that we all do when we first get into it. it it's, it's, it's fun having them, but a practice machine and a big one to fly, and that's all you really need. You know, less parts and all that you got to keep. Uh, the blades are basically the same within a couple of dollars, guys. Uh, I think this canopy was maybe, because with the new paint scheme and everything, maybe $2 more. So if you crash, it's still a 380, okay? There's still a huge difference between the 500 parts and even this. So if you're uh, on a budget or you want to save money or you don't want to be killing yourself when you have a crash or whatever, uh, you can go this, you know, this route is still cheaper than, than crashing a 500. I've been very fortunate, guys. I've never put a, my 500 in the ground. I bought that in 2013, and I've never put it in. I've never put the, any of the big ones in. Uh, but I also limit the amount of use that I do use them. So uh, 
most of my, if I have any crashes nowadays, guys, it's because of mechanical failure, you know. And that's not to toot my horn, but it's because I don't fly beyond my means, guys. You know, I fly smart. And if I know I can't do something, I don't do it. Uh, but anyways, I will do a video because I know you guys will be asking about a comparison to the 500. Uh, so I'll probably do a video showing the both of them, but uh, 500 is still considerably bigger. Okay, this boom is just a few inches longer, and the blades, uh, you know, is just a little bit bigger too. So I'm not going to pull the canopy off. All the internals, everything is the same, guys. Uh, but that's pretty much what you have to do um, if you want to convert it. So thanks for watching, guys. We will do. Like I said, possibly a 500 uh, comparison, and we will do a flight for you guys as soon as the weather gets better. Thanks for watching.